Hello, it's Sarah, and today's video, I'm just sharing the final product I have. A little, I, I think I've gained a lot of confidence through the process. Let's start with the first one. This is my first attempt with of doing it on a rock, first of all, which is a, a curved and a bumpy surface. Um, I, I still think I need to wipe this down with something to get off the residue. Um, I still need to research the the silicone residue is like a big factor but I definitely see the progress I made and um, really happy these are going to go out in my yard this is going to be by the pool so this is my foggy I love him oh he's heavy then this is a I can definitely see the improvement I made I definitely feel like um, being patient with the process, letting it sit and get that little extra stiffness to it, then you're able to create a really nice um, defined outline. Um, still, I'm not sure about this halo effect. I'm not sure that I, if I could clean it up or not, if it's from the grout or if it's from the silicone. This one, actually, I did not use silicone. I used the caulk it's silicone like caulk both are exterior adhesives that are water um, proof so he this rock is going to go out by my pool as well i have one more rock to do and the next project i'm doing is the stepping stone though i, I want to do kiwi stepping stone that's where the whole thing started um, as a remembrance for my little bird but this is the pot this is about like a six inch pot I want to say um, I love my foggy again he has this residue there's silicone here that I could probably cut off I'm just gonna because I see it I'm just gonna grab it and see if I can and I did go around it and really try to get any silicone off before I grout it because the grout won't stick if there's silicone in the way but honestly, you guys, I think he turned out super cute. Look how I was able, I'll come in. I just don't like, I don't love the staining, obviously, on the, um, the pot. But this is terracotta, so it's a, and I, but I do almost kind of think it goes with it. Like, it's all around the pot, so it's not like it's, and I feel like it's just silicone. Like the residue from my finger, so... Joe and I, my husband and I, were talking about this. Like, I could probably prep the surface before grouting, before even doing it, and just put, like, a plastic cellophane around it or some tape or something. Just tape off the whole thing before I touch it, and then I'll I'll save myself the, the problem if that's going to... Um... Okay, there's silicone in here. I'm going to cut that with my scissors. I have the... Cutterby scissors. A friend of mine just told me that she wants to start making cards, so I'm excited because I think I'm going to give her, I'm going to let her use a lot of my card making. Um, I have a lot of punches. Anyway, um, but my Cutterby scissors used to be such a favorite when I was fussy cutting. You guys know what I mean when I say fussy cutting. Um, anywho, so yeah, there's definitely silicone on some of the beads and the um, the, the uh, ball chain for sure because it's it's just too hard to um, get it on there without silicone just getting all over the place but um, I I'm very pleased with the with the result I think I'm going to offer this, to, it was to a mom who thought her daughter would like it very much. I wasn't planning on making her anything, but like she said she liked it, and I thought, well, I'm going to try it on a pot and see if, uh, but like I see little flaws, and like I'm, I know she's going to want to buy it from me. See, I think putting that denatured alcohol is making it more like sticky so I'm gonna but look how I did the the rim it fell down a little bit I would say but for the most part it stayed put you know I think in other words I think it fell I should have probably put it like that 
Anywho, I just put on random um, things and filled it in with that black epoxy grout. And I think he's so sweet. He doesn't have a crown on, but he's, maybe it's a girl. Maybe this is the boy and this is the girl. So, um, that's it, you guys. This is it for, uh, I just, I really want you to be able to see the finished piece. Um, and then I'm going to move into, like I said, the, um, the stepping stone, which is a little bit different process. I'm going to be gluing my mosaic down to a piece of uh, fiberglass mesh. So I'll share, you know I will, I'll share what I'm up to. And until then, enjoy your day and thanks for watching.